Today we're going to be working on the graph of linear inequalities, uh, singular inequalities, and systems of linear inequalities. So let's go ahead and start with problem number one. So problem number one, we have 2y minus 3x greater than 4. So we need to change this into y inequality mx plus b. So it's similar to graphing a linear equation, but this time we're going to use the inequality symbol. So the box represents the inequality symbol. So to solve this, we need to have y by itself. So first we need to add 3x on both sides, leaving us with 2y greater than 3x plus 4. And since y is still not by itself, we're going to divide each term by 2. leaving us with y greater than 3 over 2x plus 2. So this is now our linear inequality, which we can use to graph the, sys um, the linear inequality using um, a line. So things that you need to remember when you are graphing an inequality, if it's greater than or greater than or equal to, you will graph above the line. I mean, you will shade above the line and since this is a less than symbol, you will use a broken line to denote the difference between the less than and the less than or equal to. So this will be our xy plane. And this is what we'll use to graph our linear inequality. So we start with the y-intercept, which is 2. So from 0, positive 2, 1, 2. This is our first point, and the slope, which is 3 over 2, will help us find the second point. So from the point, we go up 3 units, 1, 2, 3, and do 2 across, 1, 2. So this will be the second point of our line, and we're going to now connect the dots using a broken line because it's a greater than symbol, not greater than or equal to. So this is our line. And another uh, step that we need to do is to shade the region above the line because it's greater than. So greater than or greater than or equal to, you shade above the line. So this will be above and this will be below. So we will shade above the line. So this is now the graph of problem number one. So let's solve problem number two. On number two, we have 2x minus 3y less than or equal to 6. We'll change it into y, inequality, mx plus b. So we still don't know if this will be a less than or greater than symbol after we solve our inequality. So we subtract 2x on both sides leaving us with negative 3y less than negative 2x plus 6. And then we divide each term by negative 3. And we know from our rule, whenever we divide or multiply by negative um, in our inequality, we are going to be switching or flipping our inequality symbol. So this will turn into y greater than or equal to positive 2 over 3x minus 2. So this is now our solution. And now that it's in y greater than or equal to mx plus b form, we can now graph our inequality. We start at the y-intercept, which is negative 2. So negative 2, 1, 2. And then we move two units up, one, two, and three units across, one, two, three. We always move to the right and never to the left when we are graphing an inequality. Since this is greater than or equal to symbol, we'll have a solid line, and we are still um, shading above the line. So our region, is now going to be a solid line, so just a regular line. 
and we shade above the line. So this will be the region for problem number two. So this is your solution and your graph of your linear inequality. Now for problem number three and four, it's a special case because now we have two inequalities. So we're going to be graphing them using a system. And this time, we're going to be looking at the intersection or the overlap of your first linear inequality and the sec second linear inequality. So let's start with problem number three. We have y less than 3x minus 1 and y greater than or equal to negative 2 over 3x plus 2. Since both of them are already in this form, we can go ahead and graph our inequality. So our first inequality will use a green graph. So we start at negative 1. This is negative 1. And we move three units up, 1, 2, 3, and across 1. So this is our first line. And this is going to be a broken line. And you will shade it below the line because it's a less than symbol. So every time you have less than or less than or equal to, you shade below the line. So in this case, similar to this one, below the line will be the shaded region below it. So we're not finished yet because we need to graph the second line. Um, the second line is plus 2 over here. So we start at positive 2, 1, 2. And since it's negative slope, we go 2 units down, 1, 2, and 3 units across, 1, 2, 3. So now that we have our line, we're going to draw the line. And this time, this is a solid line because it's greater than or equal to symbol. And since this is greater than or greater than or equal to, we will shade above the line. And our final answer will be the overlap of region 1 and region 2, which is the green region and the red region. And the overlap of that inequality is here. So this will be the solution of our system of linear inequality for problem number three. Now for problem number four, we need to solve and graph our systems of linear inequality. So we start with 3y less than 3x minus 9 and 2y less than negative 2 thirds x plus 1. So we are going to modify our first line by dividing each term by 3. So we'll have 3y less than 3x minus 9. Divide all of them by 3. And we'll get y less than 1x minus 9 divided by 3 is 3. So this is our first inequality. And our second inequality will have 2y less than negative 2 over 3x plus 1. And this time, instead of dividing it by 2, since I have a fraction, I will multiply it by 1 half, which is the same as dividing it by 2. So divide this by 1 half, divide this by 1 half, divide this by 1 half. So this cancels out, and you're left with y less than this one. You can cancel this, negative 1 over 3x plus 1 times 1 half is simply 1 half. So these are the two inequalities that we're going to, or the two yeah, inequalities that we're going to be using for our graph. We have y less than x minus 3 for our first line, and the second line will have 
y less than negative 1 over 3x plus 1 half. And just like what we did on number 3, we're going to graph it separately. Well, in the same axis, of course. So let's use our green marker for our first line, x minus 3. So we start at negative 3. So 1, 2, 3. And this is our first point. And the second point will be 1 over 1. So up 1, across 1. And this will be our line. And this is going to be a broken line. because there's no equal sign underneath it. And since it's less than, we will shade below the line. This will be our first marking. And for the second graph, we'll use the red marker right here, or pen. So we'll start at 1 half, positive. So if this is 1, negative. This is positive 1. So right in between them is negative 1 half. And since it's negative 1 third, so you go one unit down, so one unit down is somewhere here, so one half, so here, and across three. One, two, three. So right in the middle of zero and one. So this is now our two points. And to sketch the line, this is broken line. And we will shade below the line because this is a less than symbol. And just like problem number three, we're going to shade the overlap or the intersection of inequality one and inequality two, which lies right here. And this is how we solve and graph linear inequality and system of linear inequality.